There also were another couple of examples I wanted to show you that the video didn't cover. So, for example, if I want to look up the word ikimas, it will give me a bit of information in the box here that um, ikimas is an inflection of the word iku. So, iku is the plain form. Ikimas is the formal form and it tells you that here too, the must form, and it's a, a verb. Now if you go down a bit further and you go into show inflections, it'll actually break down the verb for you and show you how to write it in the past tense. For example, um, in the past tense but it's affirmative, it's ikita, and in the negative um, past is ikanakata. So that gives you a bit more information when you need to change the verb form. Also you can um, type in a sentence. So I'll cut and paste this one. There's a typo there. When it does its search um, if you hover over the words, it will tell you um, if it's a noun, that's the particle, and that's the verb. So it actually breaks down the different sections for you. you. You can't see that clearly here in the sentence, but you can see it more clearly here if you're not sure which one is the noun and what is the verb, etc. Uh, the other thing I want to show you is the draw function. So I'll just get rid of this. So with drawing, you can draw your kanji. So if I'm drawing my kanji here, and you can have a look at the pop-up box there. That's the symbol I was just drawing. Click onto that, and then do a search, and it'll come up and tell you what that particular kanji means. So kawa, which is river or stream. And uh, one more function that it does have is the radicals. Um, radicals is a bit more complex, but um, if you know that your kanji has three strokes, so for example, we just did the river kanji, you can look at the number three here, the line, and try and find the kanji that way. So there it is, you've got the three strokes. Again, if you select it, and then do a search, it's going to come back up to that page for you.